So let's look a little closer at filtration. So you have blood that's coming towards the glomerulus, and around that blood is plasma. And in that plasma, of course, you have a whole bunch of things dissolved, like sodium, potassium, glucose, amino acids, and you also have proteins floating around. And then in the glomerulus, some of it is squeezed out, but only the stuff that can fit through these holes. And so that includes the fluid, as well as all those little things that are dissolved, sodium, potassium, glucose, amino acids. But it does not include proteins or red blood cells. So those do not get filtered, and they go back out through the efferent arteriole. But not all of this plasma got squeezed out here. So there's still plenty of plasma also leaving the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole, and with it, a lot of those little things that are dissolved. And we often like to put numbers to everything that's happening here. So let's define a few terms. The first is going to be renal blood flow. Renal blood flow, which you might see called RBF. And renal blood flow is the total amount of blood flowing towards every glomerulus in the kidney. And so really that's equal to the amount of blood that's flowing into the renal artery because pretty much all of the blood that goes into the renal artery goes to glomeruli. And this is actually a pretty big number. It actually turns out that it's about one liter per minute. And you can compare this to the amount of blood that the heart pumps out every minute, and that's five liters per minute. So that tells you that about 20% of every single beat of the heart, 20% of the blood it's pumping out goes to the kidney. The next thing we want to define is renal plasma flow. Renal plasma flow. And this is abbreviated RPF. And the idea is that renal blood flow is counting this whole volume of blood and asking how much is going towards the glomerulus. But renal plasma flow only cares about the plasma part. So it only cares about all this volume. And it asks how much of that is going to the kidney per minute. And so what do you think? Is this going to be more or less than renal blood flow? Well, it's going to be less because obviously plasma is only one part of the blood. So there's going to be less plasma flowing than blood. And it turns out that the amount might be about 600 milliliters per minute. So that's like 60% of the renal blood flow. And if you want to be more precise, you can actually calculate renal plasma flow. And what it's equal to is the renal blood flow times the fraction of blood volume, which is plasma. And that is actually 1 minus something we call hematocrit. So let me write that out for you. This is hematocrit. And hematocrit is the percent of blood by volume, percent of blood volume that's filled by red blood cells. And it's usually about 40 to 45 percent. And so if hematocrit is the percent of blood volume that's filled with red blood cells, then 1 minus hematocrit is the percent of blood that's filled with plasma, that's not filled with red blood cells.